Right. And I, I think these like intermediary steps that, that European countries are take, that's how I really see these uh, third country agreements. It's like they don't want to deal with the, uh, with the deep conflict that we're talking about here. If, you know, who are we as uh, a nation, a group of nations? How do we want to treat these individuals? Um, they, they're kind of pushing it off. They're kind of like pushing it away from their borders a little bit, allowing some of the human rights atrocities to be meted out by um, you know, Morocco's police force in, instead of Spain. Um, so it's really denying the inevitable. We have to answer that question eventually as a globe, I think. Um, and I, I really feel like it's just uh, putting it off uh, what, a lot, what a lot of European countries are doing uh, with these agreements. Well, I, think, I think ultimately it's going to lead to some really, really horrific scenes. And I'm hoping that the same pattern of, oh my God, that's horrific. Oh, let's help. And then just like get tired now. Yeah. It, it, yeah. It, and I mean, if, if, if any of these borders is going to kind of lead, lead more people to that, that realization, it has to be the Spain Morocco border. Um, what's happening there? Is, what's, what's the story there? The, the story there has been ongoing. Um, basically migrants, uh, group in these, in these forests. So there, there's two Spanish cities in Morocco, Malia, um, and Quenta. I, th I think I may be pronouncing the second one wrong. Um, and I think back before Morocco had declared its independence, there's Spain has held on to these two cities through thick and thin. Um, and what's happening now is basically the the border that they've built around Malia is the most uh, violent militarized in the world. It's essentially six lines of defense. Um, they've worked out agreements with with Morocco. So the Moroccan police um, are the first line, all the way through to the Spanish uh, Guardia Civil on the other side. And essentially, migrants are they've developed this tactic uh, where they wait in kind of the hills surrounding Malia. Um, and then charge the border by the thousands, um, at best, or the hundreds or thousands. Um, and I think there, there was one interview I, I saw where, you know, if, if 500 people start out, 50 will touch that last fence and two or three will get through. Mm -hmm. um, all the while with the uh, Moroccan and Spanish uh, police forces cracking skulls, you know, uh, aiming for hands and feet so people can't climb, um, just like un unimaginable. Uh, atrocity on those borders um and it's been going like this for years for years um and i mean i can't i can't imagine a more um a more hopeless uh chance at crossing <laughs> you know just like pouring yourself against this militarized fence um do you think but it's it's emblematic on a small scale right people look at ukraine and russia and say look we're this is this is this is showing us what modern war looks like it's drone warfare well, I think that's showing us what the future of these policies that we have is going to look like. Right. So, yeah. So do we want to live in a world where every rich nation is surrounded by an intensely <laughs> militarized border or not? You know, and like that seems like the direction things are heading in, in, in Europe, at least, um, you know, our southern border is. Well, this is one of the interpretations of zombie flicks. Exactly. Right, right, right. That, that's the, the, the imagery that comes to mind. That's yeah. the imagery that comes to yeah. mind. And that, that's yeah. one of the interpretations. And this is the doomsday imagery that has driven so much of the sort of Bannon. Uh, what's that fuck face's name? Miller. Miller. Uh, you know, over the past. <laughs> Came right to yeah, mind. Six years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what that guy looks like? He, he looks like, um, he looks like a, 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 a shaved rat's asshole. <laughs> You know, that's it's, it's he's a shaved rat's asshole and he's got that little tail, you know, kind of like you know, anything. <laughs> I think the term cartoonishly evil was was made for that guy. It's, yeah. It's unbelievable how evil the dude looks. Yeah. But with a shaved rat's asshole. Yeah. Premiering as a kind of scare bit in the middle of the cartoon. It's like, you know, it's like a transformer and then subliminal a, message. And that guy, yeah. you know, yeah, he's, yeah. it's like Dr. Robotnik, you know, like yeah. Stephen Miller. But then Dr. Robotnik is riding on a giant machine made of rats assholes. <laughs> that's, that's what I imagine Stephen Miller as. Rats assholes of immigrant origin. I must add. Yeah. We're talking about his family, but yeah. 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 There are a bunch of assholes of immigrant origin. Yeah. Now everybody's like, feel bad for Stephen Miller's family. I'm like, no, no, I, I'm not. No, no. I'm blaming the family here. He didn't just like wake up one day in high school and was like, you know what? I'm going to go give a, a speech 
demonizing uh, my Mexican classmates. That's what I'd love to do. I, ju- I just don't think, I mean, you grew, he is supposedly from a liberal Jewish family, Eli. Yeah. So he is a, a supposedly, but I never bought that. Uh, but given the fact that today that we're filming is post uh, Kanye on Alex Jones day, I really don't want to go around blaming Jewish families for anything. Fair. Okay. I just, I feel, I feel really disgusted at how mainstream um, anti-Semitism has become. Yeah. yeah. All right. I, I think before we move on, an a, yeah. a interesting tidbit um, legally is how um, European laws and international laws are just being forget forgotten at a, at a rapid pace at these borders. Oh, there's, what's happening? There's tons and tons of... Um, video footage reporting um, of this Moroccan border um, of illegal pushback. So basically under EU law, still once your feet touch soil, um, you're supposed to have an interpreter, um, a legal representative of some sort, um, and a few other protections. Um, and that's not happening at all. There's, there's a video I saw um, of a literal door in the, in the border fence kind of near, um, near where the border wall hits the Mediterranean in Malia. Yeah. Um, and border guards walking, unlocking the door and just unceremoniously like batoning people back through um, hmm. into Morocco, which is completely illegal. Um, and Spain actually did in 2014, they tried to change a law legalizing it, essentially illegalizing these or legalizing these uh, pushbacks. Um, and it's still, there's still kind of this ongoing fight. Um, because it's still illegal under under EU law, um, but, but Spain is basically. Um, but, but how many how many reports of that do you get from Customs and Border Patrol and and from Mexican border oh, border yeah. officials? Yeah, yeah, right. I, it's 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 don't see if you don't see it like it didn't happen. Um, right, and so that's always going to be a part of it, right? It's all it's all like very messy and and ugly. Mm-hmm. 